To lock the safe search settings uh, for a Google search, the first thing you need to do is to be logged into a Google account. Now, for this example, I am logged in as our demo digital portfolio student. Her name is Emily Grace Rodriguez. To access the search settings for Google, we need to actually go ahead and do a search. Uh, let's say that Emily Grace is really into computers and she searches supercomputers. We'll do a pretty boring search uh, to start out with. Um, over here in the right hand corner, I can click this gear and notice when I hover over it, it says options. And the first choice is search settings. So I'm going to click there. And right here it says how much explicit sexual content, web pages, images, and videos should save search filter from your results. Uh, as a parent, you're going to want this to be on strict. And you can lock save search so that your, your child cannot change this. So I'm going to choose lock save search. And notice it asks for the password for this account. Okay. Um, lacking safe search sets safe search to use strict filtering and restricts the ability of users to change this preference. Strict filtering filters both explicit text and explicit images from your search results and you can click there to learn more. I'm going to go ahead and click lock safe search and notice over here I get um, progress showing uh, how, how far Google has gone to, to lock all of the explicit content. Um, so now it's at 100% and it says safe search is locked across all Google domains. Uh, this is, I think, one of the, the great things about the safe search. Uh, right here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see these colored balls to indicate that safe search is on. If from across the room you're monitoring your child on the computer, you don't see these colored balls in the top right corner, uh, you're going to know that safe search is off. OK, so let's give it a go. Let's see what we can come up with. So I'm going to go, just go back to Google.com to start with. And let's say I search nude woman. Over here, I see the balls, the colored balls, and I see safe search is locked. Now, if I click on that it's and choose unlock safe search, I have to enter the password. So you don't want your, your child, your student to have your password uh, for your Google account because then he or she would be able to unlock this. Um, so I, I went back and notice it says the word nude has been filtered from the search because Google safe search is active. And then let's just click on this just to see what happens. Did you meet nude women? And again, I'm just getting uh, Wikipedia results, women's health. I think this one's pretty interesting how stuff works, how women work. Um, if I had more time, I might click on that and learn a little bit. Uh, notice also that in images, uh, results are um, filtered as well. And obviously, this is like a diagram for like a health class, um, but not the results you would normally get when you would search nude, nude women. OK, uh, you can try a couple other ones. Um, I do know that if you search for like a woman, in, a woman in bikini or lingerie or something like that, you still might get some results. Um, but if you search something like, let's go ahead and do this, triple X movie, you're going to get just regular movie result searches. OK, uh, something to know. All right. Right now, obviously, I'm logged into this account. So let's say I log out. OK, and I still do that search. I'm still going to get the same results. OK, so you don't have to be signed into a Google account or you can be signed into another Google account. Um, it's specific to the browser. So right now, safe search is locked in Google Chrome for any user on this computer. Now, that brings up the point that, hey, if you've got Internet Explorer or Opera or Safari on your computer, you're going to need to go through the steps to lock um, safe search in, on those browsers as well. OK, and then, of course, if you wanted to unlock it, you would just go through the steps that I showed you previously. OK, and that's how you lock and unlock safe search on your computer.